All right, guys and girls, welcome to another episode of Astro Auto Repairs. <laughs> Dig it. All right, check it out. On the side of me, I got a 2011 Nissan Sentra. And today, we're going to show you how to replace the front wheel studs. Coming up on Astro Auto Repairs. All right, guys, we already got it apart. Now, let me stop playing, let me stop playing with you. Uh, the customer started the job but uh, couldn't finish it so they called us now there's some things here we need to go over before we now the I'm, I'm gonna show you how the caliper bolts up there's two bolts and all but he broke the bolts that holds the caliper on to the slide pins he's got them he, I told him he's just gonna need new slide pins um one important thing guys I always told you guys safety is number one now if you look how the customer got the car jacked up got these jacks and as I told you, if you're using a jack, and if you don't use a base, it's gonna sink into the ground. And sure enough, look at this. It's sinking into the ground. So anything can happen. Now, of course, he's not getting up under the car to do this, but if you're putting your foot somewhere up under there, and this, that thing slips, you're gonna, it's gonna crush your foot. Game over, you can cancel Christmas. So definitely, guys, if, you, if you're gonna use this kind of jack, make sure, make sure you get a solid base of uh, plywood, not particle board, plywood, and it only costs you like 25 bucks for a pair. Get you a pair of jack stands. So let's get this. Uh, especially don't do this after a hurricane. Yeah, especially after a hurricane. So you know this is going down into the ground. Let's wait another day. This would be this the whole jack could be in there. All right. So let's get this vehicle secured before we continue on. All right. We'll be right back. All right, guys, whatever side you're working on, you want to turn the wheel all the way out. The front of the wheel to make sure it's all the way out. So we're going to the left side. So we're going to take the stern wheel and turn it all the way to the left so we can reach the bolts. Now, what you're going to have is your caliper is going to be up here like that. There's going to be two slide pins right here that slide in and out. And then there's going to be two 13 or 14 millimeter bolts. So you take the bolts off. <laughs> I know guys, I, was, I, was, I can't show you. And uh, slide the caliper off. Now, you want to get something to strap and hold the caliper up, in the, up, up here on the strut. Or, you can bring it around here and let it rest on the front. That's an oil cap. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's all good. Alright, now that you have that... You're gonna have two 19 millimeter bolts right here. So I'm gonna be using 19 millimeter half inch drive, shallow socket, and my cordless DeWalt. Yeah, buddy. And we're gonna go ahead. Both bolts are the same length, so you don't have to worry about getting them confused. Now, be careful because you take these bolts out, it is a chance that the caliper bracket will drop down. So you want to just hold it into place. Take it right out and you can have it right on with, have it with the brake pads and all. And here's the other side. Your slide pins will go right in there. Make sure they're moving easy back and forth. All right, let's put this down and we'll be right back. All right, guys. Next, take off your rotor. Your rotor should just come right off. So you just take your rotor and take it right off just like that. Put that down to the side now this is going to be kind of tricky because you're going to see the backing plate in the way and here's your wheel studs now your wheel studs will definitely come right out of there just a little bit so what you want to do is put your car in neutral so you can um turn this turn the hub by hand and you want to get it right to here or right to here and you, i might be able to position it we get both of them at the same time but remember have your car on jacks and as you can see we got a hydraulic jack there we got our jack stand we got plywood down there to serve as a good base so we are definitely secure now what i'm going to do because we're going to leave when we do, when we finish what we have to do we're going to leave and the customer's going to put it back together so what i'm going to do for him is uh jack it up use his jack the jack over there that he got and i'm gonna leave him the piece of wood so at least it's more security than on the dirt um, it ain't gonna, it ain't cost me nothing but a piece of wood, so you wanna make sure people safe. All right, let's get this uh, car in neutral, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, um, I found the slide pins, and as you can see, 
there's the two bolts stuck in there. They might must be seized, seized up. Wait a minute. I'm turning that. These things ain't seized up at all. So why did they break? Unless a lot of people get confused when they have to loosen up. Or, yeah, that came out perfect. <laughs> A lot of people get kind of confused when they have to loosen up something from the opposite side of what it is. So maybe he had the ratchet was on tightening, but you know, he was going like this counterclockwise, but he was reversed. So he was actually tightening up and snapped both of them. Let me see, wait a minute, let me see. Heck yeah, this one's, this one's coming out. With, I mean, God, you see I'm doing this with my finger. That is no problem at all. Oh, both of them. Both of them come out. Both of them came out with no problem at all, guys. I, I think that's what happened, guys. I really believe that's what happened. So we're gonna we're gonna see if we got two bolts to go in there. It's gotta be, you know, to fit in there, but yeah. Wow. Okay, let's put this to the side because we might need that. Now, what we're gonna do now that we got the car neutral, also. Put your emergency brakes on. Even though you got it secured here, put, put your emergency brakes on just in case. Now what we're gonna do is turn the hub. And I'm, I'm, yeah, it looks like one lined up right there and one lined up right there. <coughs> Take your hammer and what you're gonna do is just hit that. It's not gonna come out on the first try, but a few tries it will. Bam, let's go down here. If you get it stuck, like I got right there, just might have, have to turn the hub just a little bit, and it comes right out. So then, rotate it around. So they line up again. Take that one out. And then this one. Just that simple, guys. Now, just that simple taking it out. But putting it back in, it, it, ain't, it ain't all that uh, that fun. Um, there's well, there's few ways you can do this. All right, now that we got these out, let's get. Actually, he bought some new ones here. Bought a bunch of them. Bought a box full. <laughs> I guess in case you make a mistake. But we gonna just use four. We're gonna use four. Now there's different ways of putting this, uh, putting them in. And I'm gonna show you what what, what I like the best. First of all. You get them, you put them in, and you notice your new wheel stud is going to have little knurls right here, little, like a gear, teeth. What happens is, when you knock this back in, these teeth grab onto the hub, and it eliminates it, it stops it from turning when you turn the lug nuts off. So what you want to do is set one up just like that, and set the bottom one up. I'm going to have to turn this a little bit. Okay, and now there's two ways of doing this. One is backyard way. Um, I don't, I don't, I definitely don't want you to do this, but you only do this if you're on the side of the road. You got your hammer, you hold this, and you just keep on hitting it, and you're gonna damage that up. But don't, don't do that at all. Don't, don't try that. Don't try that. All right, what you're gonna do is get you a a nut or something to go over this on both of them, and then we're gonna get the new lug nuts, and we're gonna. Tighten it up. We're not gonna tighten it up. The I'll show you. In a minute. Let me go get the stuff. And I'll be right back. All right, guys. First of all, you want to get you a, a nut to go over this. And you want to make sure. Let me get one of these. You want to make sure that nut can go over the entire wheel stud. Put your nut up there. Then you want to get you a flat. This one's got a flat wash already built into it. Um, regular nut that goes with the same threading as that. If you don't have that. You can use, he's got new lug nuts. You can use the lug nut as well. And what you want to do is put that on. Just a little tight. Take your 19 millimeter or whatever size your, the nut is. Um, put it on tightening. And what you want to do is tighten it. And if you look right here on this side, it'll bring the stud in and you want to keep going till it's flush with the hub.
just like that. Take it off. And that one is done. Let's show you one more. Let's bring this one up so we can see that better. Put the bigger nut on it. Put your wash your, the nut on it. And what I'm doing here is I'm making sure it's just even in there, not crooked and all that. So I'm just doing it like that. But if you got something, make sure you got something flat, it's going to straighten it right up. All right, now watch this thing draw in as we tighten it up. Ready? Mm-hmm. And you notice, I'm not just constantly going. When it gets close, and as soon as it touches, I'm good. I'm not trying to go crazy with it. Just that simple, guys. Check that out. All right, so then I'm going to turn it. And let's put the other two in. All right, we'll be right back. All right, guys. You know we we talked about it. We said, well, let's. What about if they don't have a nut that goes up there? How do you use the lug nuts from the vehicle? All right. So what you're gonna do? Got it situated. Got it centered right there. You gotta have that. You gotta have some kind of nut or something that's bigger than that. You gotta have that. It's gotta be there. All right. You have that. Take one of your new lug nuts. This one, of course, you got new one of your old ones. You want to put that on, and it's important that this lug, this nut back here is bigger, because your lug nuts is cone shaped like that. So in that way, when this goes in, it's going to center itself right on that nut, which is good. So you want to have that. You want to bring that in. Now watch y'all skip this part of the video, and then you strip something out. <laughs> now it's centered. Now what you got to do now is switch over to because this is a 21 millimeter instead of 19. 21 millimeter deep half inch drive impact socket. And what you're gonna need is a punch and a hammer. You don't want to solely depend on this pulling that in because it it might strip out. So what you want to do? Put it on tightening. Tighten it up some. Bring it in. Take your punch, go to the back head of the stud, and you want to tap it. Now, if you have the room, if this is in the way, you can just use your hammer. So what you're doing is you're taking all the stress off that nut, and you're, you're helping by pulling in at the same time. So what I do, hit it in. It's flush with the hub. Hub. Perfect. Take it off. And you can see a little bit of, a little bit of metal up there, metal up there. But that's because they're going into here. You don't want to bring this thing down to here because it, you're, you're going to damage something. And there's that's it, guys. Look how easy that was to do that. Now what we're going to do is. Let's see if uh let's see if these slide pins Yeah, they're going in with no problem. Um this one looks bent. If you see you can see how this is rounded over here and then right there. Is he banging on it? I don't know. Let's look at the other one. Yeah, and the other one's good. But we, we can still use them. We can still use them. So, uh, let's set this down. Let's get our rotor. Put our rotor on. Ooh, yeah, boy, that look good. All right, then, take our 19 millimeter bolts out of here. All right, and then when we come back, we're gonna be on the other side. So what we're gonna do is just slide this caliper bracket with the brakes on it. Slide it over just like that. And you can just see the top one. Put the bolt in it. Start it off by a couple threads so you don't have it cross threaded. And then get the bottom one in. And switch over back to our 19 millimeter and tighten them up. Now if you're using a ratchet, 
you want to try to use a half inch drive ratchet because these ends are pretty tight and you want to tighten it up till it stops and then push down a little bit more. All right, let's see if we can find some bolts and we'll be right back. Guys, you ain't gonna believe this, man. You know how we always have a, a junk drawer or box or a bucket with bolts and all? We actually had, I actually had two pins with the bolts in there. Unbelievable, man. That is so cool. And let's take this one out right here. Look at that. It's the same exact thing. So, what we're gonna do here is now one of them has the boot and one of them like a slide thing and one of them don't i'm gonna put the one with this on the top because when this car stops it moves or something i don't know it, it, it doesn't matter i don't know which way it goes but we're gonna put it that way so we're gonna have some lubricant You want to get some special lubricant so you don't use, you use any any other kind any kind it won't slide as well so let me put that in there okay and the end of this boot right here this is the dust boot it has to go over that lip so you just want to try to and if if you have to you might have to use a, a screwdriver or something there it is all right pops right off just like that and make sure it slides easy just like that and this is what I'm using right here but uh, I don't recommend this stuff because it is it's, it's it's not that expensive but you don't get much in there I definitely want to show you and next time we'd use it the, other, the stuff that you really want to use all right so let's get this one in put a little up here and that is perfect look at that man. you definitely want those pins to slide because if you don't if they don't slide you will wear out your inside brake pad a lot faster than your outside because the caliper will not be able to slide now these you notice how the pins have a little flat spot and then a round spot that flat spot locks up into the caliper was right inside the caliper right there that will stop that pin from moving so when you put your caliper back on you want to make sure that that pin is just like that and then the bottom one as well perfect let's get our bolts started in there turn it by a couple threads Cross thread them and these are 14 millimeters so let's go get us a 14 millimeter socket and a 3 8 drive and our 3 8 drive ratchet we'll be right back all right guys got a 14 millimeter shallow uh 3 8 drive 3 8 drive ratchet and i'm glad i'm able to show you this because you know this car was half apart now again make sure the flat side one of the flat sides is up against the caliper so when you go to tighten this bolt up that pin will not turn Go ahead. Okay, and then you want to go until it stops, and then just a little bit more. That's it. Go down here, get the bottom one. Until it stops, and a little bit more. You, you should be able. You should be able to take your caliper and slide it back and forth. That is great. All right, next thing we're gonna do is let's straighten out the wheel so we can get ready, put our tire on. We'll be right back. All right, straighten out the wheel. Let's put our tire on. Got our new lug nuts, 21 millimeter. Man, this is looking good, man. Now, when you tighten this up, you wanna tighten it up in a cross pattern. You wanna do these two or these two and then the other two just in case there's any rust dirt in the back there which uh would cause the rim to tighten up crooked and then you're going down the road and it's shaking all over the place so what i like to do is just slowly 
slowly bring in one to steady the wheel and then tighten them up. Perfect guys. Now, this job is done, but before you, because of the caliper and you moved it out and all that, pump your brakes up a little bit before you actually leave. Now that we did all that, I don't. I guess I don't have to leave on my block of wood because we had that. So now we can just take our jack stand from under there, lay it down, and take our piece of wood with us. All right, there you go. We'll be right back. All right, today we had a 2011 Nissan Sentra, and we showed you how to replace the wheel studs. But I believe it's pretty much the same procedure for uh, other cars that have it the same way. Uh, sometimes. Uh, sometimes. We'll just keep it to this one. But the backs are different though. Oh, backs are different. All right, so if you guys have any comments or questions, you can post it below in the comment section, or you can email Timmy at tim at astroautorepairs.com. Hope you paid attention. If not, watch it again. This is Sylvia from Astro Auto Repairs. If we can't repair it, nobody can. See you next time.